cases back on the rise, we are revisiting a public health tool designed to help spot spikes in COVID cases in our community. Ryan Jenkins explains why your next flush down the toilet could be more important than ever to officials who are monitoring COVID-19 levels across Wisconsin. We've told you for more than a year that officials are using wastewater to monitor COVID-19 levels in the community. What we learned today is that the longer the pandemic lingers, the more important that surveillance is becoming to understanding where hotspots are in our community. Uh, people have been locked inside and, you know, with the uh, everything shutting down for a long period of time stuff, I think people want to just get out and about. Despite a rise in cases across Milwaukee County, people in Milwaukee's third ward today say they're moving on. A lot of people are just, just tired of being in the house and ready to get out and enjoy themselves and get back to their normal life. According to the county's COVID-19 surveillance dashboard, the average number of people getting tested for COVID-19 has remained rather consistent over the past three months, a weekly average of less than 3,000 tests per day. It's a number that's been as high as 10,000 at one point in the pandemic. But the percentage of those tests coming back positive is on the rise, with key indicators such as cases and test positivity in the red again this week. In the past, a spike in cases might lead to long lines at the Northwest Health Center's Milwaukee COVID-19 testing site. Today, the line empty when our cameras were there. That's why it's significant that as the desire to be tested fades, people still need to go. Is it maybe more important now than it has been in the past? I do think it is more important as we go forward in the pandemic. Sandra McLellan heads up a program monitoring wastewater at UW-Milwaukee looking for spikes in COVID-19 and new variants. She says as concern about the pandemic ebbs and flows, their data collection remains consistent. I think for a long-term surveillance measure, that's a measure that isn't susceptible to, you know, kind of these dynamics of, you know, people wanting to get tested, they're tired of it, they're more concerned. And Sandra says they are fine tuning their process, which is why some communities have stopped collecting data. We can look at what we've done the last two years and figure out where there's really been hot spots, make sure we're covering those, and then use fewer plants as kind of surveillance sites and do them more often. Despite fewer collection sites, the state's Department of Health Services says that more than 40% of the state's population is monitored through wastewater collection. Reporting in Milwaukee, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News.